being able to see is fantastic. My glass is constantly getting foggy, however, it's not. I really hate the humidity in Auckland. Hey guys, today I'm going to sit down and have a cup of tea and a chat with you about how well my goals are going so far this year. In my previous goals update video, I mentioned that I wanted this to become a monthly feature on the blog, and that is because I figured that because I'd originally posted my goals for the year on my YouTube channel, that letting you know how they were going would be a great way of keeping myself accountable. You know what I'm meant to be doing. I know what I'm meant to be doing. And I may as well just share my goal journey with you guys. Goal number one, save money. Philip and I are planning to travel to the Caribbean this year to visit his parents. They moved over there late last year. And I think it's a good excuse for a holiday. The thing is, is that it's going to be expensive as all hell. I mentioned in my previous video that we were taking random trips to Kmart's and Martha's backyard quite regularly. Those have stopped and our shopping bill has come down by a massive amount. It was actually embarrassing how much we were spending considering there's only two of us. And so I've cut down the grocery bill by meal planning. Typically we will have three different meals a week and two of those will last multiple days. So there's a shit ton of leftovers that gets used up, minimal wastage, and we're not spending as much as we used to. The sucky thing is, even though we've been cutting down the cost of unnecessary spending, we haven't actually saved any money. And that is because we've had to put the money that we would have saved for this trip elsewhere and as sucky as that is, sometimes life happens and it just doesn't go the way you plan it to. Hopefully though, once the expensive shit is out of the way, we will be able to start putting more money towards this trip. We have a little bit, but that's really not going to cover much. The stuff that we've been spending money on is stuff that we've needed to buy though, so it's not just crap that we've seen and gone, hey, that looks cool, maybe I should buy that. I don't really need it, but hey. So those things have been moving, which has been an ongoing cost. We moved from Wellington to Auckland last year, and holy shit, moving cities is expensive. Expensive. We originally moved into a furnished apartment. When that lease was up, we moved into this place, which was unfurnished. So we needed to buy desks, a bed. We had our couch and chairs in storage, and those were quite pricey to move up. We also needed to get a TV stand, stuff for the kitchen, storage, all that type of stuff. And obviously, I also needed to buy glasses. I'm pretty blind. I haven't had glasses for about two and a half to three years. And yeah, being able to see has been great, but yeah, these were pricey. I also needed to buy a hard contact. I think I mentioned this briefly in my I'm getting glasses video, but um, I have keratoconus, which means that my corneas are turning into cones, and to counteract the seeing ghosting of text, I need to wear a rigid contact, which corrects it. And because this was a refit, it wasn't cheap. <laughs> Goal number two, finish CS50 hopefully by June. I'm going to put this straight out there, I haven't worked on CS50 stuff since I posted my last video. I still have my week two problem set to complete. There is a good reason for that. When I mentioned in my previous goals update video that I was starting to feel quite sick, I ended up with the flu and a sinus infection. I'm on antibiotics now, I'm still not feeling 100%. At the time I did not want to spend a whole lot of brain power problem solving and coding. What I ended up doing was sleeping a lot, watching bad TV and documentaries on Netflix, and playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is an amazing game if you're wondering. Now that I'm feeling a bit better, I'm definitely going to start getting back into CS50 again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish it in June, but that's fine. Goal number three, post regularly on my website and YouTube channel. I definitely feel like this year I have been more onto it in terms of creating regular content. I seem to start every year really full on and motivated to make content and post on my blog and then I kind of plateau a few months into it. 
and I know why too. I start getting stuck in terms of ideas and go into creative blocks. I get depressed and anxious and just want to crawl into a shell and hide away from everything and not do stuff. And then there's a the part of me that feels like what I make sucks. And you know what? Stuff those feelings. Lizard brain can get effed. This year I'm making a conscious effort to push past each of those hurdles and I'm not gonna lie, it's terrifying as all hell but I feel like making myself push past creative blocks and working on something when I feel down and pushing past feelings of self-doubt are going to be really good for me and the content that I make this year. And I feel like there's going to be more raw me sit down chatty kind of videos in the future. I have a few ideas on my sleeve and I'm nervous and really excited at the same time. Like I feel like I know now what direction this channel is going to go in. Goal number four, read more. My Goodreads goal this year is to read five books and that's embarrassingly low. I used to be an avid reader as a child but after leaving school I just kind of stopped reading and I feel like it's killed my imagination a lot. Last year I had set my Goodreads goal for 10 books and I think I read a grand total of one which is really embarrassing. This year I have read two books. I also took a book that I want to read out of the library which I will get started on fairly shortly and then after that I will start reading Still Like an Artist by Austin Cleon. I had heard quite a bit about Austin Cleon's book but had put off reading it for quite a while. That was until I heard the episode of the Art of Charm podcast he was on with Jordan Harminger. I will leave that in the description box below. It just really resonated with me and really got me inspired. One of the things that stood out to me was him talking about having an analog and a digital desk. I find that when I'm at my desk I tend to get really distracted with the computer so if I'm sitting there writing or proofreading a blog post I'll just end up online and not doing what I was meant to be doing which is why the Pomodoro technique that I talked about in my previous schools video is really helpful to me because it forces me to focus on one task. With the analog and the digital desk what I decided to do was move all of the digital stuff to one side of my desk and then move all of the artsy crafty stuff to another side of the desk. The desk that I have is an L shape so it's really easy to separate the two out and I'm really thankful about that. I've read a couple of pages of this book already and I can't wait to get started on it when I've finished the book that I'm going to read before this. Goal number five, continue on my getting healthy journey. This goal is going quite well. I'm pretty sure that I mentioned in my previous goals video that I weighed myself and I got the shock of my life and that there was this part of me that felt really bad about myself and just really down and disappointed in myself and what I wanted to do was crawl into this ball and just eat a whole bunch of flaming hot Cheetos. I realised that if I did that I wasn't going to get to where I want or need to be and so I shut that voice down and I was just like no you know you're not doing that like you're feeling bad about yourself but that is going to make you feel a thousand times more shitty about yourself in the long run and so did some journaling and made a whole bunch of realizations that have helped me put some small yet practical steps in place to make some life changes and it's been great. One of the realizations that I made was that I, well I always knew I overate but what I realized is that I eat emotionally so I'll either eat when I'm down, when I'm stressed, when I'm bored, even when I'm happy, like I'm Polynesian. A celebration isn't a celebration without 
a crap ton of food, right? And if you don't feel like you're going to explode afterwards and there isn't leftovers to take home, you haven't made enough food. And so what I decided to do was start another journal. I'm notorious for never finishing them, but I've almost finished this one and I'm super proud of that fact. My food, a thought and gratitude journal. And so in this journal, I list all the things I've eaten in a day. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and any drinks I've consumed so I can keep a track of my fluid intake. And I've had food journals before, and previously I've become quite obsessive about those food journals, and it got to the point where I was worrying about how much I was eating and whether or not I was eating bad food. This year though, I've decided to not let that side of the brain win out. When I start feeling like that, I just have to step aside and say, hey, you know what, are you actually really hungry? Do you need this? Are you just thirsty? Have a drink, have a piece of fruit, go away for a bit and come back in maybe half an hour and if you're still hungry then by all means have something to eat. With the overeating thing as well I've mentioned in previous videos that I pre-pack snacks. That has been really helpful because it means I'm aware of exactly how much I'm eating which is Good. In terms of getting fitter, at the beginning of the year I started working out and when I got the flu obviously that kind of fell off a bit. Now that I'm feeling better, I'll definitely be getting started on that again. I was doing the Blogilates beginners workout. I'll leave a link for those workouts in the description box for anyone who would like to check them out. What Philip and I decided to do was do a week's worth of the total body workout just so that we could ease our bodies into the rest of the workout. Workout, which I think is a pretty good idea. I can't wait to get started on those. I could definitely feel myself getting stronger while doing them. Like I could lift a cast iron pan and each of my arms and usually I can't lift one of those things with two arms. I'm also going to start going on lots of walks and I feel like it will be a great way of exploring Auckland and getting to know the city. In a couple of weeks we're going down to Waihi for the weekend and I know that there are quite a few walks down there and beaches. I'm really excited to go swimming and walking and then just getting out and active. Feeling good with the skin I'm in. Recently I've been feeling really crap about my my body. One of the things that got me down was obviously weighing myself. That was a huge shock that something needed to change. But the other thing was that I had so many clothes in my closet that didn't fit. And walking into a closet knowing most of the things can't fit you and that you look like an overstuffed sausage in them isn't helpful for your self-esteem. What I ended up doing was taking everything out of my closet and then taking the stuff that doesn't fit right now, putting that into some luggage and just getting it out of the way so I didn't have to walk in there and constantly see it. Right now I've got kind of a forced capsule wardrobe which in some ways is kind of depressing because it means there isn't much variety in what I wear but it's also great because it means I can fit everything and I feel like I look good in all of the clothes I have at the moment. So yeah aside from not being able to work out because I had the flu I feel like this healthiness journey is going quite well and I'm definitely in a better headspace about myself and body than I have been in quite a while and that is fantastic. Yeah, so that was my goals update for the month. I feel like things are going okay. There are definitely areas which need a bit of work, saving money and serious 50, but other than that I think this year is going well and I can't wait to see what the rest of the year has in store for me.